So this is something I kind of talked, I, I didn't kind of talk about, I talked about this in a live stream a long time ago, but live streams that I do tend to be pretty long, so it's not something I know that somebody can find easily, because I mean, it's not even topic about this, it's just something I talked about during the topic, and when I, it was, uh, oh yeah, when I was building my Vitara single cam and somebody was saying, somebody who never doesn't send their engine blocks to the machine shop to be inspected should never be building an engine, right? And uh, this, is, this is a guy who had been desperately trying to get my attention for a while, and uh, eventually when he said that, Cause he's like he was accusing, he was accusing me. He was uh, saying that he saw a big old crack in my block. He's like the block is fucking cracked right there, and it wasn't. It was casting flash. Um, but it was finally like my last straw. I was like, all right, dude, you want my attention? Now I'm gonna talk. And this is a guy who was saying that he works at a Honda dealership and all that shit. Um, he's like, oh, so I'm like, dude, it's it's not a crack. And then the whole the whole thing was that I went on a rant saying like, man. Building engines isn't very difficult. Like the, the the whole process of ringing a piston, sliding the, the piston rod into a block, you know, tightening down the crank, uh, doing the torque, all that shit's easy. What the thing is, the shit that's difficult is the inspections. Like, and in, in the reason why I want to talk about this again is because buying this fucking head, where the fuck did it go? This head over here, the white head that I was trying to work on, or that I've been working on. Um, the guy was saying to me, oh, well, you know, cause I'm like, I, I initially measured it and I, and it came off the, the measurements are way off, but it turns out because, uh, my dumb ass said, uh, there's, you know, like the piece of timing cover that's on the engine, look around, see if I can see it or I put it, there's a piece of plastic, the uh, timing cover that goes on the inside of the, of the head on the, on the bottom of the main timing cover. And that piece was still attached. And my dumb ass had the, um, what's the shit called the straight edge on top of that. So of course that threw off my, my measurements by a lot. But the whole thing was the guy was like uh, they were selling me his old man or his uh, his dad or some shit came out or whatever his fucking grandpa. He's like, yeah, bro, we build engines and uh, even if we measure it out the rear, it's okay. We always send them head to the machine shop and you know, just you know, like uh, just in case it always needs to go. That is not true. They make measurement tools so that way you can check clearances. There are clearance measurements in the fucking Haynes manual because you know certain tolerances it doesn't need to be machined. It does. Uh, if the rule of thumb was every single time a head comes off it goes to the machine shop, heads would, and, and blocks wouldn't last very long. That's the difference between a technician and somebody who's just a fucking bolt-on mechanic. Uh, anybody can change parts. It takes a fucking skilled technician to be able to, you know, to properly check measurements. All right, so, you know, that whole everything needs to go to the machine shop is just, it's nonsense. It doesn't need to go to the machine shop. You need to be able to properly measure something. You know, anybody can fucking do the bolt-on part. Anybody can just tighten up some, and torque some fucking bolts. It takes somebody with a little bit of a better practice and better eye to be able to um, see whether something's healthy or not, where you can run it, or if it needs to go to a machine shop. And uh, it's just, it's, it's aggravating, you know, when there's these, um, these uh, quote-unquote mechanics out there. You know, oh, well, you got to send everything to machine shop. And this is why I don't machine a lot of my parts. Because, you know, if it didn't, I've said a million times, uh, if it needs the machine work, then it's better to just buy a fucking new a new block because the new block is gonna run you a lot less than it would be to to machine. Like it's literally three times the price to bore and hone versus buying a new block for fifty bucks. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, it's uh, I mean like I'm not against sending shit to the machine shop. Of course, as time goes by, you're gonna see me send out more and more shit. I have a whole bunch of blocks that are dead. They need to be refreshed. I'm going to send out just because of the fact that I have so many. Why not? And just go ahead and oversize. I'm going to buy new pistons for them anyway. But if you're trying to do an OEM stock rebuild, then it's not really worth sending it out because then you have to buy a new new oversized pistons, and that's becomes a problem. Um, yeah. So that's just that's just all I really want to talk about the fact that uh, you know, same thing like with um, same thing with like a, a mechanic and a technician. Uh, there are some people who like to say, oh, you know, just a parts changer. But, uh, uh, you know, just a parts changer is a mechanic because mechanic work is changing parts. Um, so if you're just a parts changer mechanic, you, but, I mean, you're, like, effectively, like, good at doing that shit, you are a mechanic. Uh, the technician, you know, which is especially in modern days growing, is somebody who can get in there and troubleshoot and diagnose things, you know, figure out what the problem is. There's a, a lot of dealerships that will have, you know, the tech get out there with the computer, hook into it, figure out what the fuck the problem is, and then give it to the parts changer mechanic who can, you know, do that. And then the, the the tech goes to diagnosing the next truck. Because that's where you make a lot of your money is the diagnosis. You know, if, you know, you can have a problem and you gotta figure out what's wrong with it. Right now, I'm doing both. You know, I am diagnosing and figuring out what the problem is with the trucks at work and doing the repairs. So I guess you can say I'm an all-around mechanic. 
uh, the new job, they're uh, they're letting me, you know, actually using me because compared to where a writer was, I was just just doing oil changes for the most part. I mean, I did shit outside of that from time to time, but it was most part oil change. The new job, I haven't done not one fucking PM, or I've done one PM since I've been there. Um, and uh, the rest of it's just diagnose, repair, diagnose, repair, diagnose, repair. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually happy to be getting away from that. Like, it's one of those things where a lot of people hate doing PMs, and I've never really complained about it. Just do whatever you give me. But um, now that I've stopped doing it and got to doing actual repairs, like bigger repairs, it's much more satisfying. And plus, I enjoyed having a job that's going to take the majority of my day focused on one thing, as opposed to doing a two-hour job, two-hour job, two-hour job, you know, and it gets monotonous. But, um... Yeah, these are these are the things that you know. Once once you get to that point where you're that confident, where you you're being able to rip apart an engine and tell whether you need the machine or not successfully, that's when you know that you've really got a little bit of skill in what you're doing. Uh, so, yeah, this is a little bit of a rant, you know, for people that love talking shit all the time or saying what you have to do, and what you don't have to do to be a mechanic or an engine builder. Uh, yeah, I guess you can watch this in tandem with my head, you know, rebuild situation. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and peace.